All right, guys. So I also got to read Thunderbolts number one this week, and I'm I'm a big fan of this team. You know, Hawkeye was on the team, obviously, so that's cool. But um, beyond that, they're a really cool team. You know, all about redemption, and sometimes that the villains actually come back and like, hey, you know, this is um, I was I was a douche. Um, so it's kind of cool to see that there's people that were villains for a little while, and people that were pretty much heroes always, kind of being put on this team to be a, a force for good in bad ways. I, I really like the concept behind that, and I love the people that they put on there, especially Thunderbolt Ross kind of like being the quarterback of the team, you know, trying to get everyone together, trying to convince Frank Castle, which is pretty much the entire issue, and he, everyone else like interweaves with it. It's really, really done well. I, I, I enjoyed that part of the book. Um, my biggest flaw with it, like the thing I thought was worse was Steve Dillon artwork, but at the same time, being that he's worked with his writer a million times and he knows him really well and he, he can, it, they know each other really well, it works really well. And the book is, is beautiful in that way. But I just, I, it's too plain for me. It's just not my style. I know the people that, that are big fans of his would probably love this book and love everything about it. But eh, it was eh, different for me. Um, so I'm only going to give it four out of five nerd skulls. I would definitely suggest to read it. I mean, it's you'll probably love it. It's really gory. It's really crazy. And it's setting up for... It doesn't really set up for big things, but it's getting there. It's definitely going to get there. And I can't wait for that. Mm -hmm.